Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. Here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25 minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. for this, our main event of the evening. Nurmagomedov is 31, Chung is 33. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea, presenting the challenger, the Korean zombie, Chan Song. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Habiba, the eagle, Nibago Meta! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space, 
The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he told us on, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the Oh, well, the ground and pound is there. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Got to be careful, armbar. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Nice land there by Nermago Madoff. He made his UFC debut in 2012. He wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, nice. Keeping busy here in the clinch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, straight right. Effective strike there by the Korean zone. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Look at the control of the posture as he landed that knee. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're gonna try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot and got defended as you would expect him to. And there comes the separation now. Just out of range with that strike. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Right hand punch from the clinch. A oh, little single collar tie there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. That kick lands. Stop, stop, stop. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants 
stood toe to toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Nice punch by Nermago Meadow. Spinning back fist. Straight right, he misses. Hook to the head there by Nermago Meadow. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, nice jab. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Nermago Medov. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's... Nermago Medov's trying for a submission here. Attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. tonight here by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 